Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out Distance by Mad-Eye and Flame Tusk. If you can't see the solution to these tropical feeling tests, don't be discouraged. Simply look at the problem from a distance. We're sure the solution will reveal itself to you like a beam of light. Two overgrown logic test chambers based around... Uh, I guess the description got cut off because of the hammer publishing tool or whatever. <laughs> Right, well, let's get started then. Based around getting cut off and null terminated, I guess. Got some nice mail music. It's not often I hear that this mail track is in a puzzle. I think most people use other mail tracks. But yeah, this one's just this, this area, this room. Interesting. Yeah, this is some nice work. I especially like this. I like the lighting and all that. Looks cool. Alright, so we got a funnel. We can put the funnel in various places. We can head across here if we so desire. That button changes the funnel polarity, apparently. What do we have over here? A laser emitter connected to something up there, I suppose. Ah, so I guess we want to pull ourselves up and then across, right? Or a cube, rather, perhaps. Okay, clearly that needs a laser cube to redirect into that, because there's no portal surface here. So how do we get that, I wonder? Definitely need to reverse the funnel to get up there. Can we get up there yet? Is that a thing? I don't think so. That is the laser cube, but that's just a regular cube. Does anything else special happen if we reverse the funnel from here, ourselves? Not particularly. I don't really see a way to get up there just yet. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing there. How do I get this cube? without, like, doing something cheaty, like, grabbing it like that. Am I missing something? I feel like I might be missing something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, 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 okay, well, back, please. Did not notice that. <laughs> Should've looked down, but yeah, there's totally a portal little surface here that I did not notice. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> From a distance, I couldn't even see that this was here. So much for the map name. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's get over here, then. Let's put this here. And now we should be able to go and get the regular cube, as well. Then we can just swap out the cubes, I think. Yeah, there we go. I don't think we'll ever need to respawn this one. So about that button, right? Hmm. I think I want to try... ...and get this cube up onto that button, actually. I need to- I need you to come with me, please, cube. Okay, that is not quite how I expected things to go down, but sure. There we go. That's better. Uh, not quite what I wanted. Not quite what I had in mind. Alright, so that means the laser's activated. I think we do want this cube on here, because if we put the laser cube on here, bad things would happen, probably. Right. So, what's the- what's the easiest way to get out of here without killing myself? Probably like this, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. A few questions. A few questions. I think we want something, something like... Something like this, right? Uh, 
Uh, sort of. There we go, that's good enough. Can we do that from over there, though? I think we can, right? Yeah, I think this should work. Yep, because we can see that, and we can see that. So now we can actually get in here. Now the question is... Yeah, we can still see that, actually. Is that even intended, though? Hmm... I don't know, I, it almost feels like I'm breaking stuff by doing this. this. Right, but we have to actually be able to get up there now. Oh, that's simple, right? Yeah, okay. Wait, was this whole thing just so I could get the laser cube inside here? I couldn't have, like... I couldn't have, like, put the cube here and niggled it there? I mean, th it would be a tight fit, but I think I totally could've. Huh. Well, alright. Uh... Sure. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't want to walk off the edge just yet. Right, let's try this... again. Let's head over here. The laser cube is in position. Is that it? I guess for this first area, yeah, because we still have another test ahead of us. Hmm, that just seemed odd to me. Wow, it looks weird through the grime, doesn't it? Alright, well anyway, on to the next. Ooh. This is really cool looking. I really like the way this looks. Obviously we are not gonna be able to get over to there. <laughs> Although... I wonder... No, it doesn't look like it. It would be cool if we would end up back up here anyway. <laughs> For it. Nope, didn't make it. Uh, uh, excuse me, thank you. Guess then here we go. No secret Easter eggs laying around. Alright. Interesting, so I guess that's the entrance. Oh no, the particle effects didn't work because it was on at the start of the map. What's going on here? She's just embedded into the ground a little bit? Okay. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh! Why though? No, really, why, though? <laughs> hmm. All right. So this is the exit. We need that, and... Something else. Something, something... Not that, evidently. Not that. What is this? Is this stairs? I guess it must be, or something like that. Oh. Heh! <laughs> that caught me off guard. These are glowy, aren't they? Yeah, they- they certainly glow quite a bit, don't they? That looks neat. Alright, well, we can grab this from here, but then we can't really do much with it, can we? Yep, not really much we can do. Not until we disable this fizzler. That's where we came from. How do we get up here, reasonably? 
I think those don't actually move, I think they're just to prevent us from having too much velocity like from infinite flinging. That's actually a really good idea. That is a really good idea. Cause like, if, if somebody just did this, and this, and then tried to do... that. Yeah, that's exactly what that's for. <laughs> that is great. I've always wondered what the best way to deal with the Infiniflingers was. And that right there is a great way. Alright. What to do instead? Because clearly we need a precise amount of velocity. I think we need to do something like... something like this. Uh, excuse me. Okay, that works, I guess. Not quite what I meant to do, but sure. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Got too early, didn't I? Let's try this again, shall we? Come on. <laughs> I know what I have to do now. It's a matter of actually doing it. Oh my gosh! I keep doing that, don't I? Wait until I'm through the portal, please. That is the one problem with not allowing shooting portals through portals. And I messed up. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, I can easily try again from here. Hey, there we go, did it. Oh, isn't that nice and convenient? It's free now. Alright, we have the laser cube, what do we want to do with it? Clearly this... right here is something we're gonna wanna use. But I think, first of all, we want to take it up to there somewhere? Hmm. Well, I think for now, let's just point the laser cube. Oops. Let's just point it like this. That seems more useful for now. Yes, that does seem more useful for now. are probably going to be backwards as a result of what I'm about to do, but who cares? Hey, it is stairs. I see that. What's two, though? Am I missing something? Was it something? Was it something up here I missed? No. I am not clear on what it is I'm missing here. Oh! Oh! I didn't see that. Right, yes. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense now, wouldn't it? Why isn't that just an ant line, though? It's, it, it can literally just connect by an ant line. And I wouldn't have been so confused. <laughs> Alright then. There we go. Problem solved. Alright. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Wow, the elevator just barely moved down.